And uh, one, one thing I noticed you talk about in your, in your process or your system is um, repurposing content. And can you tell us kind of what that means and why, why you do that or how you do it? Absolutely. It's my favorite thing. And so the same idea that you're taking your pitch and creating a video so that people can watch it, a thousand people can watch it, you only have to say it once, or more than a thousand, obviously, over time. Uh, the same can be done with that content. It's what I call content factoring. And that's where, for example, we would take this video, this podcast that you and I are doing, and we might create, how long have we been talking? 40 minutes or so, however long it is, 40 minutes. Let's say we go for an hour for argument's sake. So from an hour that runs, uh, let's see. So we could probably get two or three written articles out of that from the transcript. We'll create short videos really short videos we might get 12 15 out of an hour or up to up to 12 let's say 10 of those then we'll also go through and have a look at anything that was said you know that was wise and wonderful it's very rare for me to say anything it's usually just my guests that say anything halfway intelligent and we'll take a quote from them and we'll create a little an image for social media and we from an hour of conversation, we can get at least at least 10 of those. So from an hour conversation, an hour video recorded podcast, we can get 10 videos, 10 quotes, two articles. That's almost two dozen pieces of content. Now, if you're doing this once a week, right, that's 100 pieces of content a month, 600 in six months. That's how I've got to 3,500 pieces of content out there. And every single week we add more and more. And the more of that you have, the bigger your bait plume becomes on social media and the more people see you and start navigating towards you, gravitating towards you, I should say. Okay. So you put those, those, all those different pieces out there on social media and then each one of those is a potential, somebody could click back to your site and maybe go to, would you, would you send them to an article or, or the full video or what do you typically do? Yeah, again, so it, it really depends. I mean, uh, I do give some thought to what I'm going to direct them to. I like to have a bit of a mix. Some things, some of the quotes suit very well. So I have landing pages, right? Uh, that are lead generation landing pages. Uh, to, you know, it might be to sell my new book or it might be to watch the, uh, the whiteboard workshop, right? Those are strictly landing pages. Give me your name and email address. I'm going to give you something really cool. So some of those... If what's in the video or what's in the quote uh, or what's in the article, if it makes sense, I'll send them to, to those lead generation pages. If I can't figure out what I'm going to send them to, I'll, I'll just go straight to the homepage. Uh, if it's an article, quote from an article, and I really want to promote that article, then I'll send them to that article. So it's, for me, it kind of it varies. There's so much. I have so much stuff out there. I'm orienting more, actually, Todd, to sending people to uh, landing pages, lead gen landing pages, okay. um, because what I want is to grab names and email addresses fast as fast as possible. That's what anyone listening will want to do as well, because as soon as you've got that, now you can engage them with auto email systems. And you, you can really develop a relationship a lot faster that way. Yeah, that's true. You can start building that up because uh, you can start, you have more control over that process rather than just happening to see some other piece of content you put out down the road and coming back. Yeah. 